beautiful morning here on the Tennessee River. I'm back up in here in a cove. And we're going to target these right here. Green fish, largemouth bass. And we're going to target these fish shallow because for the, for the most part, most of these fish are shallow. Uh, there's a few on bed, not many, but most of them are off. And I'm going to show you how I approach these fishes hanging around in shallow water close to near their bed, bedding areas. Let's let him go. That was a hard pulling little fish right there. There he goes. Best part of it. Now as y'all can see this water is shallow. I'm going to be targeting water anywhere from two no deeper than around six feet. That's as deep as, as we're going to have to fish today with this style of fishing. All right, folks, let's talk about hooks. Hooks are very important when you're talking about wacky rigging. And over the years, I have two hooks that I use and two hooks only, and I'll show them to you. This is a VMC weedless Nico hook. This is a size one. Now, I like to use a size one or a size two, which is one size smaller than a one. Don't get confused with one alt, two alt, and all that. A size one. Now, a size one is probably my favorite size, but a lot of times when it comes to fishing with trick worms, I'll use, a zoom trick worms I'm talking about, I'll use a size two. Uh, now here is a two alt owner weedless wacky hook. That's the one I just now caught that fish on. It's a little shorter hook. You can see by comparison. A little shorter. But between the two hooks, I actually prefer this VMC better. The size one and the size two. But I mean, either way, <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're using two great hooks. Now I like them with a weed guard. Here on the Tennessee River, Gunnersville Lake, we have a lot of aquatic vegetation. And if you want to catch fish this time of year, usually you have to fish this vegetation. That's where the fish are. And let me show you a few baits. Well, I'm going to show you my favorite baits that I use for this style of fishing. Now, when it comes to wacky rigging, these are my favorite baits. This is a black trick worm, solid center black. Uh, this is a Zoom Mathia lead, gaudy looking color, but it's great on the wacky rig, especially this time of year. And here's the paint. The one, the color I just now have caught that fish on. And here's a good one too. This is a Pro Series X Zone floating worm, which, which is a good one, especially in real, real clear water. It would be good today because the sun's going to be out kindly. We're going to have a little bit of overcast conditions, but all these baits work well. Now, if I'm wanting to keep the bait in vision, or if I'm wanting to throw something that nobody else is going to throw, <laughs> don't throw much, I'll throw a gaudy color like this, or the pink, because believe me, bass will eat them up, especially up here real shallow. Black is always going to work, folks. Okay, let's talk about our setup now. Wacky worm fishing, no doubt, like I mentioned, is very, very effective. It's a very finesseful presentation. It's a good, good way to catch fish after they come off of bed, during, and right in the middle of the summer. As long as fish are up shallow, you can catch them with this rig right here. I remember when it first come out, and there's been a lot of improvements as far as tackle, and spinning reels is concerned. 
now we have braid uh, that you can put on spinning reels this is 10 pound test braid braid frost is the color uh, I like it because you can see it against this green water here on the Tennessee River real well. I'm a line watcher, so I watch for that tick. Very sensitive. Another thing with braid, you can get a long, long cast. And oftentimes you need it because we're talking about highly pressured water that we're fishing in right now. Real pressured water. And as far as leader, leaders I like anywhere from 8 10 to 12 pound test fluorocarbon. That's as high as I'm going to go. As far as leader length, it depends on how clear the water is. Usually I'll go anywhere from 6 to 8 to 10 foot worth of leader tied with a double uni knot. Now, <clears throat> as far as hooking a wacky rig is concerned, now I'm going to tell you, and also, well, before we get into that, I like a anywhere from a medium action rod to a light action rod six foot eight to six foot six that's my preference on that and a 2000 size spinning reel okay now let's get into hooking one it's really easy and a Senko works real good for this application too if you're fishing deeper and you're wanting to fish weightless well a Gary Yamamoto sink uh, Senko is a great choice. You can fish five, six feet of water. Because of the salt, that bait will fall quickly at that depth. But today we're going to be using just trick worms. We're going to be fishing up real shallow. As far as hooking one of these, just take your bait and collapse it like that. And there's the center. Okay. That's usually what I do. A lot of times I'll hook it up here in the egg sack part, but that's what I just did. Right in the center. And I hook it straight through the worm like this. I get more hook sets. My hook set, my ratio of hookups is greatly improved by doing this. Now I'm just talking about me. Rather than using an O-ring where the hook is facing this way. I miss a lot of fish like that. And I've even crisscrossed O-rings to, to, to try to get the hook to lay out here the way I want it to, which is gonna be like this. But I prefer not using the O-ring. My hookups are a lot better, folks. Now, I'm just talking about me. This is my personal opinion. If I just don't use the O-ring, and I hook it that way. Okay? That couple up with a good Palomar knot and you're ready to go. Let's catch another. Whoa. Let's catch another. Ooh. There's fish. There we go. My, my. That fish hit close to the boat. Real close to the boat. Would you quit? He ain't all that big, but I'm gonna tell you what, they're mean this time of year. That's a male right there. Little male. Come here. Quit. Little male fish right there. Him sort of long, long fish, but he's a little bit skinny. He needs to eat. Let's get her pliers and get him loosed right here. I tell you, this is one of the funnest. Well, y'all heard me say that before. Um, there's a lot of fun ways to fish, but this one right here takes the cake a lot of times because this... This way of fishing right here will catch you fish when they're not biting. The only thing there is to it is that you just got to learn to slow down. Uh, it's just a great way to fish, folks. I used to do a lot of it. Let's let him go. Long fish. Let me explain this to y'all. Right back there is a 
a cove. That's the spawning area back there. And then out here on this point, the water gets deeper. Well, this they're either going to be back there or they're going to be out here, the first deep water from the spawning area. That's a good little pattern to go by or work with on these lakes, on these big lakes. It works a lot of times, most of the time. Uh, you can catch some good fish like this. There's fish. Oh. Golly, he's coming to me. I don't know why I had to jerk that hard. Dang, that was too hard. I tell you, there's fish all over this shallow water, folks. Let's flip him in here. He shook my worm off finally. Now I've caught three fish. No, four. I'm not going to show that little bitty one I caught a while ago. It was a little bitty one on that one worm without an O-ring. And, uh, yeah. And I haven't missed any fish. That's the deal. Because of the way I'm hooking it. But that's uh, another male. I haven't had an opportunity for a big fish. Not yet. Not yet. But we're working for, you know, just like I mentioned a while ago, I, big fish sometimes won't bite. Or the better fish won't. Come on. All right. Woo. Bursal got caught by his wife. And Bursal is 58 years old, eating his booger. Now, how I'm working the bait is real simple on a wacky rig. Now, okay, the bait's on the bottom. I'm in four feet of water right here. Now, all I'm going to do is just pull it up and let it fall back. You don't have to do it quick. But if you want to, you can. You can snatch it like that and then let it fall back. Okay, just like that. And most of your bites is going to be on the fall, just like any other bait. But just by pulling it, folds the bait, and relaxing it like that, watching your line. As it's falling back, it straightens out real quick, and then it falls back just like that. That's a dangerous technique, folks. There he is. <clears throat> Golly, he slung the worm off. Sure did. Dead, gone you. I tell you what, I'm catching a lot of fish, folks. A lot of them, but they're just not no size. It's one of those days, unexplainable days. Now, tomorrow, my goodness, I might catch, who knows, maybe the three to five pounders will be biting. But not today. Not today. I have not had a big bite yet, but I'm enjoying myself. Fishing is a sport. Well, it's second to none. Let's look. Go on back, boy. I mean, there's a bunch of them in there. That's four or five bites already just from this little curve. I'm so There he is. Y'all ready? See if we can catch up to him. Another little one. I keep thinking, with all these fish I'm catching, I keep thinking, my goodness. This is the time. It's going to be a great good one. I'm not griping. These, these fish right here are pulling. They're pulling, folks. They got a lot of power. Let's flip him in. 
Oh, come on in here. They got a lot of pulling power. That ain't too bad. I'm not going to gripe about it. Just let him go. There he goes. Whoa. There he goes. He swammed off. He swammed off. Now this water right here is around four feet. About four feet deep, just full of bass. I mean, they can't all be the same size, folks. Can they? I mean, could they not be a, an old biggin in there? I'm not pulling this bait over. I don't know, after it makes bottom contact, I'm moving it probably a foot at the most. There he is. There we go. Got another one. This one here is a little bit better than what I've been catching. Or it's a lot better than some of them, but he ain't big, but he ain't bad. He ain't bad at all. When it comes to the fishing, the worst thing that a fella can do is to complain about his fishing. I tell you, I've heard people do that all my life, and, and I'm going to tell you, I never understood it because it's a privilege. <laughs> and it's a blessing from the Lord for us to be able to come out here and do this. But that ain't too bad. Matter of fact, that's probably the best fish of the day to be honest that's not too bad of a fish folks not at all you know i was i was kind of what has happened today let me explain is there's a lot of fish y'all i'm not going to show y'all there's no reason for it i have caught the same fish over and over and over and over and over again there's no telling how many i've caught oh 20 but they look identical and that's unusual. Usually throughout the course of the day, I can call five good ones, especially fishing this technique, but not, not, not today. Believe it or not, that's the big fish of the day. And it's a blessing. So what? Richard didn't get his way. Well, we don't always get our way. We should count our blessings, folks. Let's let him go. Oh, he's going to jump. No, I thought he was going to jump again, didn't y'all? Hey, look at the beautiful sun. Listen to the birds. Hey, whoa! Okay. Whoa, doggone it. Whoa! If y'all noticed on that last fish, I changed to a black. I caught that fish on a black trick worm. It's getting later on in the evening, and uh, black seems to, to work well for me. Let's see if there's one by this log right here. There's a water log log right out in front of us. Yeah, there's a fish there. Yep, yeah, wrong size. That ain't what we want. That ain't him, but he was holding, again, the log. Well, folks, that was an outstanding day as far as practice for me. Uh, with a, a wacky rig is just a, a great, great way to catch them, no doubt. And I used a pink and a black trick worm today. I didn't bring my Senkos or I would have fished on out a little bit deeper and I probably would have caught some quality, a better quality fish, I'm not sure, because the Senko, uh, you can, I mean, I can fish it five to six foot deep without any trouble, weightless, and I, the, the better fish may have been deeper.
but I sure did catch a lot of fish today. It was a blessing, and so are y'all. I want to thank y'all for everything, all the great comments, everything y'all do for this channel. Um, it's just, I don't know how to, <laughs> words can't describe how I feel about y'all. I want to say, God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Hey. Oh my goodness, the Adrilogen. The Adrilogen is popping. Woo! And there's a member. Oh, go fishing when you can. <laughs>